within a region of space, you got a charge density. P naught and A are constant. Right? <laughs> you want to find the total charge lying in a sphere with a certain uh, radius, right? Um, a cone and then just a region. So, first thing to know, looking for charge. Charge, what we're looking for, um, we have PV, rho V, I always call it P. You know, we have our charge density in this function and we're dealing with spherical coordinates. Why, how do I know we're dealing with spherical coordinates? Well, it says it wants a freaking sphere, so it makes it easier if you just do it like that, okay? So, what's the relationship between charge density and charge? Well, charge density is just charge per unit volume. So, if you multiply it by some volume, you'll get the charge. So, we'll have our Q is equal to the integral of some rho V of some volume. Right. Since we're dealing with spherical coordinates, we're going to have a triple integral. And from calculus, you know that that would be equal to um, r squared sine theta um, dr d theta dt. So let's start setting up our integral then. How about it? How about it, baby? So q equals one, two, three integrals. Our rho v value is going to be this over here, p naught r. Um, it's our square, right? It's a sphere. Yeah, it's our square. p naught r over a. And this dv is already here, so that's an r squared. So we'll make this a cube. Cube. Fuck, Justin, can you write, please? Make that a cube, then this will be sine theta. Um, dr, d theta, dt. Now we need to figure out what we're integrating in respect to. So, first question, is r less than or equal to a? Well, um, why don't we just use the maximum radius it can be, and then if it's less, if the radius is less than that, then you know the charge will be less than whatever value you're getting over here. So what I'm trying to say is you'll go from zero to A, where R equals A in this case. So that's what we're integrating our, our R to. So we're integrating from here to wherever A is, right? Then we'll do this one from zero to pi and we'll do this from 0 to 2 pi, and let me explain that. So, if we let this direction, this plane direction, be d phi, and then this vertical direction be d theta, you would want to go all the way around this, this sphere, so it looks something like this, right? And that will give you the plane between... Um, these two integrals, right? So that'll give you some plane. And then if you wanted to cover a sphere's length, you would only want to go 0 to pi because if you went 0 to 2 pi, you'd be counting twice, essentially. And this is like something you do in calculus. You probably did it in calculus a lot. But, yeah, you have to integrate from the bottom here all the way to this angle all the way at the top which is 180 degrees and that'll give you if you can imagine these planes are kind of stacking on top of each other so you'd have a plane down here and 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 a plane down here until eventually you get a whole sphere of those red planes right so what i'm getting at is you don't have to do two pi twice you only do two pi um, for one of the angles and then pi for the other one and that'll give you a full sphere integration <clears throat> so now we have everything we need to start doing our math. So let's go ahead and just fucking do it. Why not? Right? So Q 
equals integral we're gonna go zero pi is zero to two pi um p naught r of four over four a this is just a simple integration this will be sine theta this will free from zero to a where we're plugging in that r value d theta dp plug in the r you would have zero to pi, zero to two pi, p naught a. This a is going to plug in here, right? And then there's an a down here, so one of these a's will cancel. So you're going to have an a cubed over four sine theta d theta dp. So now we have to do the integral just uh, theta, so that's the integration of sine theta. So that would be um, negative cosine, right? Negative four, negative four, four. cosine theta. And this goes from zero to pi. Shit, I might run out of space on this one. Oh well. Um, we're still doing, we still got it. Plug in the integral from zero to two pi. So this would be negative p naught a cubed over four. Plug in our cos values. So cos of pi would be negative one minus cos of zero, which would be uh, one. So that's a negative two. Oh, whoops, whoops. So this will give us a negative two. These negatives will cancel out here. And this two is up up top. It's really up top here. I'll, I'll write it out. Zero to two pi. Right, we'll plug it out. A cubed equals two over four. Twos will cancel. This will give you a two pi. Now this will give you a. This is just going to be a two pi coming down because remember it's a constant. There's no. You're you're not integrating over anything. So that'll give you. 2 pi p naught a cubed over 2. So q part a is equal to p naught a cubed pi. There you go. So that's part a. Let's see, you're running out of space here? Yeah, I run out of space. So I'm going to go ahead and delete. I'm going to delete all this shit and start part b. Okay? Let me go ahead and do that. How's your day been? Good? Mine's been pretty chill. I'm making some Brussels sprouts right now. Oh, fuck, dude, I gotta get my Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Shit. Dude, they're probably gonna burn. Should I go grab? Yo, let me grab those real quick. I'll be right back. I gotta grab my Brussels sprouts. Dude, they're gonna burn. Hold up. And then I'm gonna do part B, all right? All right, see, quick and easy, baby. Didn't take too much time. <laughs> Got my Brussels sprouts out, cause they would have burned, dude. I'm terrible at cooking those things. Like, I'll be, I'll be, uh, definitely making a mess with all that. All right. Um. So we can start right here. Yeah, but, but I do recommend, like, you just throw them in the oven. Such a healthy, like, easy meal. I just pop them in the oven, cook them for like 20 minutes. It's super easy. All right, so now we're on part B. So it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is now that theta value that we had before. Uh, matter of fact, so this theta value we have um, here, zero to pi. We're just now going to do it to zero to uh, zero point one. Because now we're only we're not doing a whole sphere, we're just doing a cone. So we're not looking to make a sphere anymore. We're looking to make a, a cone. So actually, what I could do is erase this shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
fuck, dude? I need a pen. Give me a pen. Oh, F. There you go. There we go. Alright. So I can erase this and make it 0 0.1 pi. W was it pi? Was it 0 0.1 pi? Yeah, 0 0.1 pi. So we'll just do it. We're going to run the same integration, really. Pi, zero to two pi. Um, you'll get p naught over a. I'm gonna rush this part a little bit because we just did it before. So this get eventually will give you p naught a cubed, right? Because you have over four. Because you have this turns into r four over four. Then those cancel with the a's once you plug in the a, and that zero really doesn't do anything. Theta. Okay. Next, we would have zero to two pi of p naught a cubed over four. This turns into this will be a negative. Could have been no, integral of sine is negative cosine, right? Um, and this will give us cos of. I'm taking these values, so cos of. 0 0.1 minus cos of 0. Um, this would give you all this times 2 pi. So it would be 2 pi p naught over a cubed over 4 negative 4 cos 0 0.1 minus cos Plug that in and you get drum roll please. Oh shit, I dropped my note. Alright, drum roll please. You get 0 0.024 peanut A cubed. And this is all in units of coulombs. There you go. Oh shit, I always do this. Space through the rest. Um, I'll do the same thing I did last time. So I'll just get rid of this stuff and do it again. So now for C, just like B, it's really just rep kind of repetition at this point. You just Instead of 2 pi, now you're just integrating from 0 0.2 pi. Oh man, that didn't do good. So, 0 0.2 pi. Oh wait, hold up. So you're just dividing this. So since this is a constant, 2 pi is 1 tenth. This is a really simple one. That gives you 0 0.2 pi, right? And basically, since you're just dealing with a constant here, you're really, all this is asking for is b divided by 10. So what I'm trying to say is qc equals qb divided by 10. And it's simply because you're, you're, Dividing this constant value by ten, you're literally just just fucking scaling it by a tenth. So, whatever QB was, QB was what uh, zero point two four p naught a cubed coulombs. So QC would then equal zero point zero two four. Thanks. Sorry about the Brussels sprouts, but you know, gotta gotta get them done. Peace.